Manchester United have finished second in the Premier League this year. We've got an FA Cup final coming up against Chelsea. It's our best league finish since Fergie retired. But with some of the dull and dire football on display, with another 0-0 against West Ham, Man United fans are complaining. Do you think Man United fans are spoilt? Or are there fair grounds for United fans to be complaining? When you look at some of the stats for this season of Manchester United, there are no grounds to complain. Our best league finish since Fergie retired, our best points tally since Fergie retired, best defensive record since Fergie retired, De Gea has won the Golden Glove for the first time in his career, we're in the FA Cup final, we won the Europa League final last year, we won the League Cup final last year, three major finals in two years in Mourinho's first two years in charge. From that point of view, there really is no grounds for any United fan to complain because we've had Moyes before him, we've had Van Gaal before him, yes we have Fergie before those, which skews the opinion because we've seen such exciting football with winning at the same time. But United fans are in this sort of dilemma, where yes we're winning trophies, but we're not playing the football that Manchester United are associated with. And it's causing a real debate among fans. You know, are there grounds for United fans to complain right now, or are we just spoilt by our previous success that we can complain about success right now because we're not doing it in the United way that we all remember under Fergie. What I did is I asked all of you guys and girls on Twitter for your opinions. I'm going to read through quite a few of them now. It's been interesting to see what you have to say about it as well. Let's start with Steve Moulton. He's saying we're a shadow, referring to how United used to play and how we are playing now. But at points this season, you know, we have played exciting football. Remember the start of the year, we knocked four past CSKA, Everton, Tons of teams at the start of the season, we were battering. You know, we came from 2-0 down to beat City. We came from 2-0 down to beat Crystal Palace. We beat Chelsea at home. What a great run of games that was. But it's just been mixed in by a hell of a lot of dire football. And ever since our top four has been secured and City have won the league, United really have taken the foot off the pedal in terms of Premier League performances. 0-0 against West Ham, losing against Brighton, losing against West Brom. To go from beating City to doing that, frustrates United fans and I think a lot of this debate is caused by frustration and certainly had grounds to be frustrated about those results. Talau, you said that Fergie was at United for 27 years. To come back from that is not easy at all. Keep in mind the state of the squad that he was left. The fact that Mourinho brought the Champions League two years in a row means consistency and that's the most important thing. Later the style will come. Now do you think that Mourinho will ever bring that style or do you think Mourinho will always be this Mourinho type manager that you know, it's not part of the bus football, but we're a hell of a defensive unit. Very hard for teams to break us down. Some will call that parking the bus, but it's just that Mourinho has built his titles on great defences. And he's trying to do that at United. And given that it's our best defensive record in what, since Fergie retired, and it's the first time De Gea has ever won the Golden Glove, you'd argue he's getting what he wants. Got Andy, he's saying both. We've been spoilt by exciting football all of our lives. We've been poor since 2013. So we should be happy with the progress. If I hadn't seen such riches, I could live with being poor. Excellent input, Andy. And that's it. that is exactly the big dilemma that United fans are going through. Because of what we had with Fergie, because of what we saw back in 2008 with that double winning team with Ronaldo and Tevez, to go from that to this, especially with such wonderful players, Sanchez, Martial, Pogba, it's not as if our squad's poor. It's just sometimes the start is poor. But a very good point there about if you hadn't seen such riches. It really sums up United fans. Well, the situation we're in anyway. James Hayden, you're saying fair grounds to complain. Fans have travelled to Brighton and West Ham on Friday and Thursday night in the last week and we have not played to win or even scored in both games. It is two terrible away trips. I'll agree with you there, James. Um, and I do think there are grounds to complain. But I'm just confused as to how much you're allowed to complain when you're second in the Premier League and you're in the FA Cup final. It's weird, isn't it? Philip Devine saying, those so-called United fans complaining clearly delusional and have no recollection of the past. And Chris Edwards saying, Johnny come lately opinions are irrelevant. Try standing in the scoreboard circa 1980s. Now that was bad football. Obviously prior to Fergie winning the league in 1992, it was a good, what, 26, 27 years? It was a long time before United, well, even longer than that, I think it was 30 years, since United had won the league. We haven't won it in six years, but it was previously a hell of a lot worse than that. Feroz Khan saying, we are spoiled and not looking at things correctly. We are second only to a record-breaking City side. Yes, the severe result was bad and Jose is to be blamed for that. But we need to get our house in order before we challenge for the big trophies. 
Now, if, we're not, if we don't have our house in order by Mourinho's third year in charge, then I don't know if Mourinho will ever have, have the house in order, if I'm perfectly honest for Rose. I do agree that this Anomaly City team is skewing opinion because had this United team been playing, I think we would have won the league in six, of, six years under Fergie in terms of the points tally that we have. But the fact that we're second in this Premier League, comfortably second in this Premier League, goes to show how poor Spurs, Chelsea, Arsenal and Liverpool have been because we've been dropping points left, right and centre. And we're still second, easily. So the quality of the Premier League has gone up, certainly with Man City, but the teams around us, probably around about the same level, if not a little, well, certainly less because we're second. And that's what Mourinho is going to hold on to this season. You saw it last night after the game. He's satisfied with that nil-nil draw. He's satisfied because United finished second. And when you try and have an argument against him, he's just going to say, well, look, it's the best finish we've had since Fergie. Try and tell me I've done a bad job. And I'm in the FA Cup final. Now, Wayne, he's saying, I watch football to be entertained. When I'm in work, I don't have to talk about work. He'd rather talk about work right now, outside of work, than United. And I do know there are a lot of United fans. If you're one of them, let me know in the comments exactly what's frustrating you the most. But there are a lot of discontented United fans that are annoyed with so many nil-nils and so many dire performances against lesser opposition and in the big games. But our big game record has certainly improved this year on the Mourinho. I think we're only second to Man City. If you look at Arsenal's away record, they have got zero points away from home in 2018. So you look at the teams around us, there are certainly teams with far, far bigger issues than United. And Mourinho's staying next year, so I suppose we've just got to agree with it. I, I don't know, but let me know in the comments. This is why it's a debate. It's a bit of a confusing situation. Shane Dempsey talking about the West Ham game, saying the team tried to play better football last night, but they lacked a focal point in attack. Obviously, didn't have Romelu Lukaku to so confine themselves to long-range efforts. Sanchez was sprightly and Shaw was good. Adrian was outstanding to keep United's shots out. He did have a fantastic game. Shaw, very unlucky not to score his first United goal. Man United News, you're saying, I think it's a mix. The football hasn't been great for large parts, but at the same time, we expect to win when we aren't entitled to. Truth is, no one beats a team that wins 18 in a row. No one was beating City this year, but hopefully our play improves once Jose has the team he wants. I'd argue Jose already has really the team he wants. Probably doesn't have the squad he wants. I think there are three additions we need to make this summer. For me, two full-backs, one left-back, one right-back and one central midfielder. They're the three key additions that we have to make. If we make any other signings, that's on top. But if, as long as we address those three issues first, this United squad will be in very good shape going next year. We've got Hayen saying, I don't care about the style of play. I just want the Premier League trophy at Old Trafford next year. Now, how many of you agree with that in the comments? Because that's the ultimate debate. Would you care how Mourinho plays? Would you care about the results? Sorry, not the results, the performances, if the results come and Man United lift the Premier League trophy? I'd argue probably not. And so a question I want to post to you all now, because there are so many of these replies, I can't read them all out. Look at Liverpool and look at Manchester United this season. Man United are second in the Premier League. Liverpool are fourth. They could finish fifth, but it's very unlikely. Now, Liverpool have had a fantastic year. Mo Salah has got 43 goals. Which season would you have rather had? Manchester United finishing second in the Premier League, our best finish since Fergie retired, and being in the FA Cup final, maybe a third piece of silverware in two years, or being a Liverpool fan, and with the season that Liverpool have had. But they might finish fourth, could potentially finish fifth, and may finish with no Champions League trophy if they lose, or when they lose, to Real Madrid in the final. Which season would you be more happy with? That higher place finish in the Premier League in an FA Cup final, or that lower place finish in the Premier League in the Champions League final that may end up with nothing for the whole season. What would, what's your big mantra? No, no. What do you want more out of football? Is it the entertainment? Is it the trophies? I think this is a dilemma that United fans are going through right now, or the debate that's going through. There's some that want the substance and the style and the entertainment first. There are others that want the trophies and the winning first. That's Mourinho's way. But that was Fergie's way too, but he... He merged the two. He had the excitement and the results. Mourinho hasn't found that consistently yet. But what's more important to you? The substance and the style or the winning and the trophies? That's why I want to know in the comments. So let me know as always. Um, if you like this video, drop a like on it. As always, subscribe to United People's TV. See you soon.